doesn't like a word with you. <laughs> so you're the dirty rat. I guess. You're the dirty rat's been poking my little princess. <laughs> I guess. What do you mean, you guess? You don't know if you've been poking her? No, I... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good poke, is she? No, 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 you don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, personally, I can't see what she sees in a hippie-looking numbat like you, but I won't let that fuck me up. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Do the honours, Reg. Hey, you're a rich man, Buffhead. United States of America, gee. Now, listen, your money's no good to you here, no private property. That's for... Rule number one. You come to live in this community, you donate all your capital and other material assets to the town. You're off the map, son. As far as the seven o'clock news goes, whoop whoop doesn't exist, and that's the way we like it. And that's the way it's gonna stay. Nobody leaves here without my permission. And that permission is never given. That's rule number two. Any questions? Um, huh? What? What's he trying to say, Moose? I don't know, mate. It's just me and Angie. Spit it out, Buff. I never asked her to marry me. You never asked her? You never popped the question? No. Are you suggesting she's a liar? No, no, what, what I'm suggesting... Are you suggesting my little princess is a liar? It's what it sounds like to me. What's it sound like to you, Reg? You're saying she's a liar. No, it, well, maybe if I put it another you way. You poked her once, you poked her twice, now you've got to put your hand up. You're a grown man, aren't you? You're not a fucking grub. Speak up, son. Or well, we're not going to hit it off, you and me. If we don't hit it off, I want to underline this in red. If we don't see eye to eye, the next thing you know, Fafangula, we're going to be having an argument. And one of us is going to end up being the injured party. And you'd be the favourite, Buffhead. You'd be odds on, son. You'd be London to a fucking brick. Nice. Lovely. Slam the bag, Reg. OK. I'll shout for the bar. Let's get stuck in it. Shall we dance? Daddy, kill ya! <laughs> Daddy said you and him got on like a house on fire. He said that? Yeah, I knew you would. They all said you wouldn't fit in, but I said, just you wait. You don't know my titty. Angie, Angie, Angie. I said, find yourself some nice big deal, eh? <laughs> Someone who says he likes you before he says he loves you. Come back with Chips Rafferty, I said. And what do you do? You come back with Victor fucking Mature. Oh, oh pardon me. Mum's been off the feed. Haven't you, Mum? Excuse the breezes. It's a plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> now that another can of piss won't put a dent in. <laughs> as a bastard on Father's Day.
He's a top bloke, Daddy-o, you know. Stay on his right side and you've got a friend for life. But you've got to stick to the rules. What's rule number three? Rule number three is you don't do the dirty deed with your next of kin. Ah, you wouldn't be dead for quits. What's... Hey, you know that Gary Larson cartoon? The one with the two elks? He's got that one elk, Vern, he's got like a target right here in his chest. And the other elk saying, bummer of a birthmark, Vern? It's fucking funny, man. That's me.